Today on Drawly. Does daily drawing actually work? Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are drawing together because art is better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And check out our daily drawing guidebook. Link below. Ben, does daily drawing actually work? I have mixed opinions on this. I'm a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. Now going back first, how long have you been executing daily drawing with um, routine-like rigor? Uh, routine like rigor, maybe like a month and a half, probably, <laughs> but uh, I skip still now and again. I would say for the past like two plus years of that we've been doing Drawbly, I have been uh, not necessarily daily drawing, but like having a con consistent drawing habit. But now I'm like, I have a routine where in the morning, one of the very first things I do is draw. Drawbly wants to know, what's your morning routine? Is very complex. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, I love to a hear very it. Very long, a giant list. As somebody never... who can't have one because of her weird work schedule, I'm routining vicariously through you. It is my dream to have a daily routine. We do not need to get into I it. I can't have one. No, no, no. I want to hear it so bad. <laughs> what I want to talk about real quick here is that this You're not getting out drawing of this. <laughs> that I'm doing here is all thanks to Abigail. Oh, yeah. Because this Abby so gave fun. me a lesson. I asked Abby to give me a lesson and we painted the same portrait. So this is a little rundown on this one. Uh, and I just wanted to say that real quick so that I could get that, you know, wh what's on the screen out of the yeah. way. Cause I need to talk more about daily drawing. Well, before we go on then, I wanna know what were your takeaways from my haphazard, unplanned, picking on you as you drew a live uh, uh, it date was, lesson? It was very helpful. I think you had a lot of really good tips and a lot of ideas about things that I wouldn't normally do. You um, gave me a great technique for the hair, for like the hatching for the hair that I really like, and I'm going to do that a lot more in the future. That makes me so happy. Like, it's so funny how I feel like a glowiness right now. Like, I helped. Uh, that's you, must be why. You also helped me pay attention to things that I might have not given as much attention, such as like the placement of certain facial features where you were like, oh no, that can be better. And I was like, oh, she's right. That I did pick better. on you a lot. It was kind of fun. Like to just, I prepped, all I said beforehand was like, you can't be defensive about anything. I'm just going to pick on you really hard. I don't think you said that. I, I didn't and say that. Even if you verbatim. did, I would have been totally fine with and that. And you were. I, I have the thickest skin in the world. And you do. <laughs> I, my my experiences talking to you are not all based on my experiences talking to you. Like some of what I say, uh, those disclaimers, the, comes from my have. life of <laughs> having all my siblings and, you know, like the people around me have built the who I am that communicates I, with I you. said this in my head, so I probably said it out loud. Um, I also really like the way this guy turned out. He was just a. a a quick little doodle per se. But anyway, back to daily drawing. Yeah. So probably before I started my, my current daily routine that Abby is so uh, Obsessed with. with. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I would go like a few days without drawing, but then I would sit down and draw for like three hours. Yeah. And I absolutely think that was like a really great way to, you know, go about getting as much practice as I could. That's comforting. At the time. I think it's totally fine to work that way. Good. I really don't think that there's like that big of a difference between what I did then and what I do now. What do you like about what you do now? But now, by doing it every day, I feel like the routine of it, of doing it every day, has me thinking about it more. And when I go to do it, it's a lot like kind of easier to do it because it's built into my schedule. There are a lot of things that are better about it or a lot of things that are good about it. And I can't really pick out any negatives other than I might actually draw slightly less um, because I would like do these batch sessions of drawing where I'd sit down and be like three or five hours. Um, but now it's pretty much like 30 plus minutes every morning. And then if I draw later in the day, that's like, you know, extra credit if wow. I, if I want it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I would probably say like, maybe I draw slightly less, but even with drawing less, I feel like I improve a lot more because of that consistency. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I That's think, cool. I think there's a lot of good things uh, about drawing every every single, you know, quote, every single day. I still miss days. I mm -hmm. still don't do it every single day. But sometimes we still go out to like Starbucks, you and I, and do a longer drawing session together, even yeah, with yeah, you yeah. having that mostly daily routine. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool because you said there's a lot of pros to each one. And so you're kind of using the best of both worlds, aren't you? Yeah. And I would say like with the other method, I can 
a lot more easily pick out negatives. Like mm, it, it's mm -hmm. a lot easier for me to say like, well, this isn't like a really great practice or this isn't as good as it could be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, in, in my opinion, I think it's better to do lots of short bits of practice rather than few really long amounts of practice. Because mm -hmm. you get exhausted, you can't mm -hmm. focus that entire time, the quality of your practice isn't as good. With doing it every day, not only is it like shorter sessions, but because of that, it's like easier to stay on task. It's easier to do it just because it's like almost automatic, you know? It's like, oh, I, in the morning I do this, and then I do this, and then I draw. It's like just built into your schedule. Yeah, speaking of schedules, drop that morning routine. Let's hear it. <laughs> this is not an interesting I love to hear. Topic. I can't have one. I must live vicariously. All I do is I wake up, I immediately go elliptical, I get a shower, I draw. And then what happens? And then I go to work. Yay! Wow. That's so cool. There are little things in between there. <laughs> but none of them are interesting. <laughs> I got to I got to live somehow this life <laughs> through somebody else. My life is like either I get up ungodly early and drag my carcass into work and then I well I take that back. Sometimes I have a little work routine, but um, it just depends. It varies so wildly. And then the days I'm off can be anywhere from bewildering to like, why am I so exhausted? Because we, you know, there, there's sometimes daylight savings time hits and you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm so messed up. So that begs the question, Abby, in your opinion, what do you think's better? You know, drawing every single day or drawing once every here and there for like a long time? I think... Like, what do you do? Well, I can't, I don't draw every day right now. That's okay. But, so I would say drawing a long time when I can is better than not drawing at all. Oh, yeah, for sure. But if I had the option, I think I would prefer to draw every day. For smaller amounts of Even time. Even if it meant a smaller amount of time, mm -hmm. that might feel more manageable. And um, maybe I could do like a challenge someday of like one week where I no matter what my schedule is 12 hour shifts Whoa. eight hours i draw half an hour every day and that'd be pretty crazy it would be crazy it'd be hard but i've drawn on my lunch breaks many times it just depends you know how things are going overall so i can always just kind of more can work that in a lot more yeah than i do consistently that's the word i was looking for a lot more consistently work that in uh, a lot of these that are kind of flying by on screen, by the way, are the are from these daily drawing sessions. Mm -hmm. um, like the sketch that just went by and this one, both took right around 25 minutes. And I'm do. sorry I didn't comment on your previous one of the girl like standing with her arms crossed because that one was gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Yes. Yeah, it was just kind of fun to do. If you're watching, rewind, go look at it again or don't, but you, you saw it, you might have been paying attention, <laughs> but it was absolutely stunning and I loved it. Yeah, it was a fun one to work on. Uh, this one was like going really poorly. Your symmetry is on point. Yeah, that's because I duplicated the eye. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, it was going really poorly, and then I was like, no, I gotta clutch this. I can't give up on this one. No, it so looks I, awesome. So uh, I had to, you know, batten down the hatches. Yeah. Give it a little extra oomph. Lovely reference, too. Just lovely. We're so fortunate to live in a day and age where beautiful reference is available at you know, just a finger away, like a finger tap away at any given moment. Mm -hmm. We are so fortunate. Imagine if the old masters just had access to incredible reference anytime they wanted it with any sort of lighting all the time. Yeah, they would probably be a lot better than they were, yeah. in all honesty, which yeah. is kind of scary to think about. Because they were already very, very good. But they didn't have as many distractions I know. and as many responsibilities as we have I wish we, we have could today. get rid of phones entirely. <laughs> yeah. Some days I'm just like, why can't I just leave this in my car and be done? And I used to do that sometimes during work. I would just leave my phone in my car and, and risk it all you know risk it all well, wow you know <laughs> that's one way to phrase that before <laughs> before this goes on any further i have to show you and have you look at the sketch okay because i kind of liked this sketch minus like a few things here and there but i kind of like the sketch and then i threw like the tiniest amount of paint on it and i was like oh i should not have put any paint on this that was a mistake <sighs> i can relate so hard to that sentiment of 
I messed this up with paint once again. So I'm loving how the sketch is going. We have a very nice clarity as always with your lines. Look at those arms. You've done a really nice job on the arms and the face. Um, Why, I'm, thank you. I'm really, really liking this. Yeah, anytime a, a person has an open mouth, I am just like bewildered. I'm like, I just, I yeah. cannot do this. It is impossible. I think the only thing you missed on her lips, if you don't mind a critique, do you mind a critique? Never have, never will. Is that um, you've represented her upper lip as larger than her lower lip, and in the reference, that is the opposite. But wow. I don't mind it. Oh I my think it's gosh. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a, uh, an artistic choice. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And if you want to have some artistic choice, click that like and subscribe button. And check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, at the link below in the description. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Ben, would you like another drawing lesson from me? Or was that like a one and done kind of thing? That was your one and only one opportunity. So if you have something else, I'm really sorry. You're not receptive at this time. And I never will be again. Oh my gosh.